So, as you can see, I've had a busy day. We've got pretty much all the accessories that can go onto the block are on the block. Engine mounts are on, knock sensors, oil filter relocation stuff, uh, oil feeds, oil drains, coolant feed returns, etc. etc. Next is the head. So, these come with AR. Uh, these are ARP 2000 series, um, it's like liquid, ARP 2000 series head studs to extend all the boosties I'm going to give it. Obviously install as per manufacturer's instructions, which basically say screw them in finger tight or hand tight, actually. So I should have no need to actually do them up with that, but if I need to adjust the heights, maybe I will. So, box full of the bad boys here. Once again, obviously ARP lube going on these. And uh, ARP lube will be going on the top. It's pretty obvious which way they go because you've got the Allen hole on the top. the Allen key. Uh, I'll just pop all these in and come back to you. Uh, time for the head to go on. Change of plans. This is fucking heavy. Two man operation I reckon. Make sure my rags aren't going to drop underneath it. Tell us we've got to go forward or backward, okay. mate. Okay. See the holes? Yes. Uh, forward. Towards you or to the uh, front of the engine? You go back that way and then forward towards the front of the engine. Uh, uh, back this way a little bit. That's not back. Or towards me. And towards the front of the engine. Okay, oh, yeah, there yep. you go. The dowels. I didn't put the dowels in. Fuck. It doesn't have to actually come all the way off to drop the dowels in. Got all on my foot. God damn it. One. The other one should be in that box. Uh, towards the front of the engine. Towards me. A little bit more towards the front. Or back towards. Towards the front or not? Towards the front. Towards the back now. Well, tell me how far to go. Back towards you. A okay. Bit. Yeah, I can see one's lined up. Gotta be clear, mate. This is not light. Is it down all the way? Seems so. Uh, there's a little bit of space on this side. No, it's down. Okay. It's down as far as it can go. Because the gasket isn't compressed yet. There we go. Down. That's hanging in the air. Just checking that all the rivets in the metal gasket are in the air and not between stuff. And they are. Excellent. Now I've got to get lots of ARP lube on nuts and get them down there. So, I have fallen victim to the old uh, ARP head studs trick 
of not being able to get anything down into the head to do them up. So I'm going to take the cams off, which is what I'm doing now. It's very frustrating. I have to undo all that work. However, it has to be done. I've got people booked to come and book. I've got people arranged to come and help me drop this in the car tomorrow. So I have to get this done. It's getting dark. It's probably seven o'clock at night. Been down here all day. Getting all this done. And it's very frustrating. However, gotta be done. So I'll carry on. I'll give you a shout when I'm talking it down, I think. So I took the cams out. Everything's laid out, ready to go back in. Um, the ARP head studs is done in three stages, 30, 60, 90 foot pounds. I've done the first two stages already. This is 90. And the pattern as per their, um, their instructions, which you just say. Depending on what side of the block you stand on, apparently, because there's no front or back written on there. Shouldn't matter too much though, because it's just from the inside out. everything's got ARP lube on it. Okay, now when I did the 60, when I went back over them, the middle ones had slackened off a bit, so I'm going to go over them again on the 90. I expect them to do up a little bit in the middle and not, not too much to the outside. That's why we redo them. Got a quarter of a turn out of that almost. tension on the other one but still. back in. Uh, then I've got to do the rear main seal. Um, bolt on some of the miscellaneous bits. Maybe I don't need to do that to get the uh, engine in. 
I could put some of this stuff in in the car, the hot side and the cold side. Although, I think it's easier to put it on and drop it in all together. That's how I took it out. So, that might be a thing. Especially since I've got the tuner coming, it's easier to fit it all on here on the stand. So, I have very little work to do left once it goes in the car because I can plumb everything in too while it's sitting on the stand. Uh, let's get these cans in and see how we're going. So, it's 9 o'clock at night. I've got the timing gear on. I forgot to put this cover on so I had to take that off. I forgot to torque up the bolts in the cover so I had to take that off after talking it up and there was at least one other occasion that we had to take it off. So I've been running around in circles for a couple of hours but we're golden here. We've got our marks lined up on a timing belt here, here uh, and under here which you can't see. Uh, this will not do up to torque because the whole rotating assembly is going to rotate. But I'm counting on that happening because I need to rotate this engine. I feel like the rattle gun might be a better way to start that. Something like that. Gonna need that socket. So, the timing mark has now moved to zero, zero, and zero, because it was just slightly off when I got the belt on. Now we want two revolutions uh, to make sure it comes back to zero. Lots of air being pushed around, being a giant air pump, that's a good thing. Ah, uh, the sump's not on yet. And if we come to zero, here, this towing mark should be lined up, which it is. This timing marker should be lined up, which it is. We are golden. So now I can put the can covers on, put the sump on, put the hot and cold side on. Don't know how much longer I'm going to keep going tonight, but uh, I'm getting very close to getting this job finished. Um, this is not talked up. I can't torque it up until the flywheel's on. I also have to do the rear main seal. Um, I think I might wait until I've got it on the engine crane. Pop, do the rear main seal. Put the clutch on. Slam the gearbox in. On it. Drop it in. So I'll get as much of the rest of the stuff done as I can. Excellent. So it's almost midnight. And lots of stuff is done. Just fitted the rear main seal. Uh, I can't really torque it up properly there, but I've done it up uh, with spanners there, and I'll check the torque tomorrow when I get it off the stand. It's only six newton meters, so it's bugger all anyway. Uh, and about to fit the sump. Uh, before I fit the sump, I've got to fit the pickup. It's about the third time I thought I'm going to fit the sump, and then realised I've got to fit the pickup. But I'll slam the pickup on, and then we'll put the pump on. Some, some, some's going on. So it's 1.30 in the morning. Turbo time. Hot side is fitted. Uh, I just had one, uh, my main oil feed, I had the wrong fitting in there, so I had to take that out. Put a new one in. My son's still sticking with me. He's a good kid. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'll fit the cold side tonight. Might keep going, might not. Just letting uh, the sealant on the main oil feed set for a minute before tightening it up. 
Uh, mine all dry. All dry. Turbo all dry. Anyway, if I do anything else tonight, I'll show you what I'll do before I finish up. If not, good night. And I've got no idea how I'm going to edit these videos, but I'll figure it out later. It's more important I get it done. Peace. Good morning, YouTube and the internet. Um, basically, what happens after that is the camera goes dead and I do fit the cold side and everything else on that engine ready to go in the next morning. Uh, I think I finished up about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning and my mates are coming around at 9. So I didn't get a lot of sleep that night. But I did get everything done I needed to do. Um, and then the next video is going to be us fitting it in. Uh, I'm just going to do like a fast 40 time lapse type deal with that because there's a lot of wind noise and things on that footage, so that's no good. Well, you might notice the new surroundings. I'm in the new house. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's really good, plenty of room. This is where the, the Mighty Falcon lives, in the garage, and the uh, shed is out the back. Can't really show you from here. It's like 30, 40 metres down the backyard. Uh, it's a big yard. I can actually drive into the yard through through this back garage door, um, and with the car trailer on, do a full U-turn in one motion around. I don't have to do a three-point turns or reverse or anything. So just do a U-turn and then back the trailer up to the front of the garage. Put the car straight into the garage. Don't even need to tilt the trailer. The ramp sit on top of the garage floor, and the car rolls off without scraping or, or, or even getting close to scraping anything. So it's perfect. Uh, the place is still a mess. I haven't finished moving all the shit, um, but it's, you know, shit happens. I'll get it all moved into its home probably this weekend. Uh, the engine, well, I'm going to do some spoiler now. Uh, it's not running. Anyone who's following my Facebook will know it's not running, and probably why. I think I said why. Uh, so yeah, like I said, uh... If you follow my Facebook, you'll know it's not running, and it's yeah a few weeks since I did what is in this video. So uh, we'll get to that in due course. It's very frustrating. I haven't got to the bottom of the. I mean, I know why it won't start, but uh, what's causing the reason that it won't start is yet to be confirmed, and I have to do some further testing on that. But it will not start in the current condition. Turns over, makes oil pressure. Um, yeah does all the right things up to a point of, of actually starting and there's not a lot to do before starting as far as what the engine needs to do uh, but yeah there's one of the conditions that re are required for start which it's not meeting and we'll cover that when I get to it anyway I'm gonna go and finish editing this video and I'll see you guys well next week because you know I've been uploading weekly now for quite a long time nice regular schedule for you guys uh, outside of the one week I missed when I was moving house. One or two, anyway. Um, I'll see you guys next week. And if you're watching my Facebook or my Instagram, you will see more advanced, you know, on the timeline information. You'll be further ahead of the curve. So go give us a follow on those. And, um, yeah, I'll go, I'll go to some some uh, editing worky stuff and get that uploaded, ready for... Next, or next week's upload. I'm working on it a week in advance.